Welcome back guys to episode 2 of Factorio Industrial Revolution. So, we are directly where we left off, just having having fought off uh, the biters that uh, tried to kill us and uh, gotten a few turrets down. So, this episode will be more expanding of uh, the base, making more miners. And trying to get rid of those pesky biters that uh, seems to be our bane of our existence. So let's uh, let's try and see if we can't get that done here in the early parts of of this uh, episode. So let's see here. Let's go grab some coal and let's start to make some ammo. I don't think three plus two <laughs> cartridges, jit, cartridges is going to be enough for us to uh, to take out the little biter base over here that for some reason is quite, quite strong. So uh, yeah, there are a small amount of defense. Spread out some of this. There we go. A small amount working. So while we look at this, we might want to research some of the next things we need. We kind of have to go into the brawn age soon. I think that'll give us some of the things we need to probably get down to electricity all the way down here. But for now, let's just uh, let's just build up our production and our ammo since that is kind of what we need let's stop these for this a while and let's get this sorted military how far down is that that is quite a bit into the future so that means we will still be a ways off with that still but we are looking quite good on our production now. Um, I might go down and expand my copper production or our copper production a bit down here with the same as always set up, making a small loop, making all of them feed each other. And that way we have automated uh, twice as much copper as we had before. So um, now it's pretty much just a race against time and see if we can uh, survive before uh, the Biters attacks us again. Hopefully these can take out the brunt of uh, whatever wants to attack us. That is at least what I'm hoping. And yeah. Let's just pick up a ton more copper. Let's get... Oh, we are making ball bearings already. So what else do we want to make? We can make this, but that might not be necessary if we already have enough. Well, that's a lot of ammo. So that should um, that should help us out a lot as soon as we start to, uh, to attack the biters. So let's see here. What else is needed from raw copper plates? Copper rods we are making. Copper gear wheels might be a good thing to automate as well. And automate some more uh, plates as well, I'm guessing. So one-to-one -one process. No, wait, it's not a one-to-one. -one. Oh, it is a one-to-one -one process. I, was, uh, I thought I was going uh, <laughs> a bit mad. But here they come the next spider wave and let's see if we are strong enough or how strong these turrets are. That's quite cool. Not sure how much ammo they use but they did take care of it. So um, we should probably go kill that biter base over here. So two more turrets is what we need. Might research the wall to be honest. Seems that will be quite, quite important for this uh, playthrough. 
And to be honest, instead of this one, I'd rather get some tin plates up and running. Let's go down and grab some more coal. And get a small production up of science. Copper plates and tin gear wheels. If we can just set that up, we should be good. But first things first, let's go take care of the biters. Hopefully we can. I have no idea how strong they are. But... Uh, there we go. Let's go and have a look. And if this is going to be... Ooh, there's so many. Let's just place you two down here. As a, as a backup. Let's bring it on, Bytus. Okay, now we can see if we can take on this. Oh, that one is... Quite strong. Oh, they even run back to protect the base, it seems. I'm definitely not strong enough unless I take the turrets with me. So let's take this one and hopefully we can place it somewhere a bit closer. Still outside of a uh, range of, uh, it's called the spitter. So what if we do, where can we go to? Can't hit us right here, so might be able to do this and that. Oh, that, that can hit. That's uh, a problem. Oh. Come on. Get it done. Kill it. Kill it. And whew, that was um, a bit more tough, uh, a bit tougher than I thought it was going to be. They are quite dangerous with uh, what's called Copper Age weapons. But hopefully this means that uh, we'll be safe for um, the Bytus for a little while. And uh, this will just defend itself. Let's just get down a few more turrets over here. Right there. Let's get a small repair pack. Where did it go? Right there. Let's see how good these are. Not that good. But good enough. So, back to expanding the base. Let's throw in a ton of coal into these things so they will run non-stop. Let's throw this in here. Cool. And now we're starting to, uh, to have quite a bit of production. That means we should probably start to automate our science. We can make burner inserters. And we can make transport belts. So, um, so we might want to automate to bring in of coal from over here, maybe. Oh, to be honest, we can just move them by hand for for now. But as always, let's get some more crafting, since that is kind of what we need at this point in the game. Let's place down two of these. What I did right there. If you have it in your inventory and you press Q, you will select it and then you can place it down. And that only works if you have one in your inventory. So, um, so that is a nifty little trick to use. But I'm doing this so I can uh, grab a bit of this and just throw it into here. You can get some. And there we are. Now this is all working. We are producing quite a bit of uh, 
of things. And hopefully this will help us speed up our production of different items. Let's do one just right here for now. One, two, three. I'm doing this for some future expansion. Even though it might not matter, I still like having it somewhat sorted. So copper chassis, are they used for lots? Small copper chassis, large copper. So the small copper chassis needs this. That means we need to get the, where the ads. We need to get these. And we need to get this for the small copper chassis. Let's see, you can get some coal. And you can get whatever you need. Appearance there first. And we really need to automate this. And that could actually be done with burn inserters. How much are these? So one takes five seconds to craft in raw research time. So we might just want to make some belts and some burner inserters. Oh no, 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 no. I want these first. Since they are very much needed. So let's go down and grab some more things. It seems we're producing a bit more tin than we need. And that's just the way of the game right now. Let's craft a few more. Stone furnaces. So we can speed up this production a bit. And to probably make a bit of room in the middle just to output onto it. Or do a smelting array and start to do the main bus. Even though we are missing, uh, what's it called? Coal, we should be able to, uh, to automate it anyway. I'll just fill these with coal whenever they need it. So let's uh, let's work towards that setup. You can just make some gear wheels. We need a couple plates. There we go. And this space is starting to look quite good. And let's grab some of that just down here. So time to set up a better production since nothing needs copper ink. Oh, it's a few things need copper ink. It's So let's see here. We need to automate things now. So if you get some burner inserters, let's just get six and start to automate the plates as the first thing. To do that, we'll probably have to move these a bit and move a smelting array somewhere else and set up this one. Let's do that with, yeah, let's do some tin. It seems like that is something we can spare in this day and age. So let's just do it up here. Do a small little setup for belts. Mm 
We're producing the tin plates, we're producing gear wheels, and we're producing copper rods. So it should be quite easy to get the belts we need. At least that is the plan. And of course I want to remember to put these down again. In case we run into some of the natives. Here and right there. Burn it in. Burn it out. There. And let's limit it to just 400 for now, in case we are producing more than that. That should give us a few belts. I wonder if these run out of fuel at some point. They do. <laughs> There you are, my precious. Let's grab over here. It's quite soothing with this uh, slower kind of gameplay. Normally you are just blazing through so many things by this point that you can't really keep up anymore. So that's going to give us some belts. So guys, where do, should we make our smelting array? Oh, not smelting array, our main bus. I kind of want to move it out this way. So if we do the main bus here and build on the south side of it, I think that might be good because we have all the things over here. We have iron there. And then we can grab the iron and run that back into it. So what if we make a main bus starting just below this iron patch? Where is it? If I can see it, it's right here. So let's say somewhere around here. This is the start of our main bus. Two, three, four. It might be uh, bad to do a standard setup for this, but for now, let's keep something familiar so we don't make everything completely new. Mm. Yeah, and then we built... Did I say built below it? That means we have to be built above the iron patch over here which is a bit annoying, but that is so far into the future that I can live with that for now. So let's build above and we can just fit the bus into a, to not worry too much about that. Or we can just skip a step. So yeah, that is the plan. First things first. A standard smelting setup. Let's just do right here. Two, one, two, three. And you will smelt copper. Have some belts going down in the middle. Right here. Have some burner inserters. Let's just do one here for now, just so you can see what I'm planning on doing. Let's get a few splitters and a few undergrounds. And what are you missing up here? Gear wheels. Because then the first one we start to make is pretty much the plates. And make uh, probably all of it on uh, the main bus for now. I think that'll be quite good because of how many things we need. So what if we do one lane of each? Oh, that's gonna take up a ton of room. Might merge some things onto one belt. I think that could be quite cool. But let's see here. I would like for the belts. Oh, I forgot to pick up the belts. For the belts to go in a normal smelting setup. Let's see here. Let's grab some belts. You'll go right here and merge into the copper line from up here. 
think that would be quite, quite good. Can we just craft one? Luckily, it doesn't take that long. Now that we have most of it in storage. So let's see if we can't do this. Uh, right here, it should hit what it needs. Come on, the last one, please. There we go. Let's get a belt around this way. Go down and over here. We'll go into this one. And then we will have what's it called? Coal going maybe up upwards. Yeah, let's make coal go upwards. So we have coal coming in right this way. And of course, splitting into to this one. So right here, I think, would be good. Going down. And should we just give it a bit more room in here? So we do the belts right there. And the belts. Oh, it is completely wrong. I don't know what I was doing right there, but that was horrible. Once in a while, you just kind of uh, make a mistake. But right like this, up this way, down that way, do one like. Uh, sorry, guys, this is uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these by hand. But this should be enough room. Then we can do one right there. Right there. So it comes in, splits off. There we go. This should work now. Go in, split, split. Go down here. And coal comes from the bottom. So right here, we'll do it in right, right there. And now we just need the coal to come in from over here. And that will be something uh, we'll do by hand for now, but we'll change in the future. So let's see if we can't get this to work. For a small smelting setup should produce uh, them out there. Let's put in more of this. And put in, or we might put all the things underneath that in a row, and then take them out different places or just having like a, a main, what's it called, a, a mall here in the beginning, crafting whatever we need. I think that might be a good way to do it. That looks very, very good, I must say. And no biters in sight. That is probably even the best part of it. And look at this, guys. This is now working. Crafting, this will put it into here. And now it should be somewhat easy to just expand this out. Let's look. Oh, perfect. That means we can start to dismantle this part and move it into our smelting array. That's perfect. Um, one, one. And let's just do two up here first, since it's more important getting things in than getting things out. So let's see here, what do you miss? Just that. And now you'll craft belts for days. And as always, I'm a bit impatient, so let's just grab some of this by hand. And hopefully we can get out of this uh, making by hand uh, 
was about to say hill, but it is something like that. <laughs> so right here, place. That's good. Looks a bit bigger than normally, since uh, these do take quite a bit of room. So that's pretty much that set up. And now we can start to move these things down here. It's going to be easier to fill them. And we'll have a lot more production to grab from. We do use a small amount for the burners. But it, it should overall be a, a, a way better uh, solution like this. So let's move it out. Or at least get a few more of these. More stone. We have that. Thank you. Three, four. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. Let's just get number six. And then we can uh, oh, get this tree away. Number six. And I think this is quite a decent start for uh, for these two right there. Do this, you can then see where you want to place them. Just like that. Right here. And I know we don't have any uh, robots yet, but as soon as we do, this will be quite nice. So let's grab just you two. And you can go on cold duty for now, so we can get further along in filling up all our little things. Go more coal, and that can be filled into all of these over here, making sure that we have more than enough. There we go. That should kick all of this off. Let's grab some burner, insert us just to fill out the rest, and then we have. A quite decent setup. I don't know how long we should make this. But I think if you do shift E, you can move it closer to, to it. Look, just like that. That's very cool. So that might be something we will use in the future. But right here for now is good. So let's move the last two from up here down to uh, to mine right here. And then we have a, a pretty nice uh, smelting line set up or a smelting setup. Let's see, you can have you right there, you right there. Strange. Well, there we go. And a lot of these needs fuel now. <laughs> so that'll work for like a few minutes, I'm guessing. Yeah, it doesn't last long, but that is all part of the burner phase of uh, of this. And which will we'll probably make um, uh, what's called a coal line from here, going up here and into this. So it ought to fill all of it with coal. I think that is what we should work on right now. Let's see. Let's just grab all of this. Give you what you want. It's pretty much more copper gear wheels. So we kind of have to uh, to get that kind of mall up and running where we can craft all the little things we need in uh, in quick succession. But to be honest, the most important parts right now are. Burn and Soda's the belts, or pretty much the belts, and I'm guessing 
to automate sign packs. I think that is um, is what we should work towards. But uh, but I think this is a, a quite decent place to stop. We have gotten a ton done this episode. We have destroyed the visors that uh, tried to kill us last episode. We got a small smelting setup up and running. And uh, yeah, next episode we'll move a coal line over here. So this will be fully automated. And then we'll have to figure out what we do with uh, with these. Or we could run coal line or coal builds next to him. Or we can just fill it by hand. And I think we'll just fill these by hand since they're in a last large clump. So, uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you'll like and subscribe and hit that bell button. So you'll be notified when I put out the next episode. But... I will see you next time, guys. Bye.